Atlanta United fans TV 2 0 win. Joseph with the brace. And it didn't really seem like Chicago was really threatening all that much in the second half. Yeah, no, I mean, they look more dangerous in the first. Um, you know, Katai is always one of those players that makes you think that they can score at a moment's notice. And CJ Sapong, when he was in Philly, was great. I, I don't know what's happened to him in Chicago, but, uh, you know, good, good match. You know, well played. We. We came out, you know, I like seeing Joseph score the brace, obviously. I wish that Brett could have scored and buried his chance. It was so close. Um, you know, I feel like PT was a little bit more involved today. Gressel was a little bit more involved today. It was, it's a good look, another shutout. You know, like I said, to go 6-2 and two in this eight-match run is great, you know, um, especially when we, the way we lost Red Bulls and, and uh, you know, to be able to come back and, and, like I said in the very beginning, we started 1-3-2 and two, and then we went 6-2 and two after that. So if you break the season up into, like, you know, quarters – the first quarter wasn't good, and the second quarter was really good. So let's let's see where we go. We got a nice little break. Let's get healthy. Yeah. Now uh, it's a three-week break, and it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, some other teams, some other MLS teams are still playing, right. and it's I mean, it's more ridiculousness in terms of scheduling, right? It's 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 weird. Eight matches in 28 days, and then a 26-day break. It's with with a uh, you know with the a US, US Open Cup in between. Hey, going to Charleston, imagine that once again. Uh, no, but it, it's you know. I'm glad that we got through this compact nature of our schedule in the beginning. Champions League, all these other stuff, like, you know, I, I had some, some harsh reactions in the beginning, and I'm, I'm not changing my stance. I'm just saying it's good to see. Because it is know, different. It's very different. And, 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 but, but to be 14 matches in and be at the top of the East, that's, that's more so saying that the East has not been great, but we're right there where we need to be, which is, you know, at the top of the points table. Um, the big target this year is obviously going to be LAFC. I mean, they're sitting on what, like 34 points right now, and and uh, ridiculous goal difference, plus 25 goal differential or something, something crazy like that. They've scored 17 more goals than we have, so there's still things to improve. Um, but you know, another shutout win, another another three points at home. Right. In terms of that, it's like yeah, two matches ago we were 14 goals in 13 games. Yep. Very poor in that regard, yeah. and uh, so yeah, it absolutely but is. But getting the results, yes. and that's the thing is like that's where it differed. Is last year, if we would have had that same kind of, you know, goal drought, we would have probably seen you know two or three more losses just because we would have been conceding stupid goals. It, even in the beginning of the season, part of my biggest gripe was second minute goals against Columbus, fourth minute goals against DC, goals early against Ardiano, goals early against Monterey, goals early in the second half against Philly where it looked like we were having brain lapses. Mm -hmm. The one thing I can say about Frank's system and the change up in this in this run of eight is that we're defensively compact. Mm -hmm. We play, you know, we play a very systemic style of play. It's if it's not there in front of them, they're not going to force it. They're going to pass back and that's something that it takes a little bit of getting used to, but the results are there, so that's a good thing. Right. Now, in terms of, uh, yeah, like uh, June 11th is our U.S. Open match, mm -hmm. would you like to see some rotation? Or? Hell yes. <laughs> yes, please. You know, I said this earlier, like Julian Gressel and, and LGP Born to the legs crowd. have to be nubs right now. I mean, seriously, like, like just give them some time off. It, it, basically, if you're not a player that's traveling for Gold Cup or, or, uh, or under 20s, like, rotate the squad. Let's see some twos. Let's see some Justin Miram. Let's see some, some Florentine Pogba. Let's see some Andrew Carlton, you know. Um, there's even guys like Breck that could probably use a rest. He's been playing a lot. Michael Parker probably needs a rest. You know, like I said, LGP and Miles have been warriors at center back. So uh, I'd like to see Alec can get a match in goal because Brad's played every match for us so far. So, yes, I would like to see some rotation for yeah. God's sake, please. But is that punting U.S. Open Cup? Because, yeah, when we have rotated that much, uh, even Tata Martino, when he did it, it wasn't really the best results. We got knocked out early by some kind of very inferior teams. What does winning the U.S. Open Cup get? Oh, Champions League, that joke of a tournament down in some random South American or Central American country on a, on a field made for a high school team that used to be a backgammon court? No, I, I don't care. Like, win the league. Like, if Supporter Shield is out of is out of the reach because of LAFC, focus on winning the East. Let's 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 get as high of a seat as possible. Let's try to defend our cup. All these other things can't be on his cup. I hope we can win it. That'd be dope. Don't really care. To Champions League next year, I saw what it is this year, don't really care. You know, um, until they change the format and allow us to spend, the only thing that matters to me is an MLS Cup. So, you know, shout out to my man Elo Stacks. Supporters' shields don't mean shit. Uh, maybe a little bit different was said uh, on the, uh, yeah, the For Real Sports uh, video. There. Yeah. So, yeah, shout out to that. Watch it if you haven't already. Please, please. Yeah. But, yeah. All love to Atlanta United Fan TV. Nothing's changing here. Just, you know, everybody has their own imprints these days. And, and you know, it's all love with these guys. You know that. So. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, uh, I, I think that's really it. I mean, it's like in terms of the, the final thoughts on this match, uh, you know. Good to see a brace from Joseph. Yeah. And the fact that he's got, what, four goals in his last two games, that's, that's incredible. So, 
it almost sucks that we're getting the break when we are, you know. So um, I just hope everybody can get an opportunity, be healthy, be happy. It's summertime. You know, enjoy yourselves out there. Come back healthy from the Gold Cup. If you're traveling, please, dear God, Barco don't have like a mystery injury getting off the plane or anything. So, but uh, we'll see you back, uh, I guess, in Toronto on what, the 26th? And then back here on the 29th against Montreal. Let's get some wins, man. Indeed, indeed. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.